pigs. Mm. Eat pigs. Yep. It's our last week of the pigs. So on Thursday, we are actually killing on site. Um, it will be quite the adventure. We've never done that. Usually we bring all of our meat to the butcher shop and the kill over there. Um, but we've raised these pigs so differently that we want to make sure that they are um, as little coarsal filled meat as possible and that they go out really happy because we have really enjoyed having them to be honest. So we'd rather them have one bad minute than a really bad day. So anyways, kind of bittersweet because Harlan really loves his pigs. So we have Idaho pasture pigs, um, which are bigger than a kuni kuni and yet smaller than a conventional pig. Um, they don't have l as long of a nose, so they don't root quite as much. And um, yeah, they're pasture raised. So that's one of the best perks about these pigs. And I think that's why I love them so much. So they get all the vitamin D they can have and all the fresh air. Um, we have completely strayed away from things like corn and soy for it with our pig. I want to say what we're feeding them right now is oats, barley, and peas, and something else, and also hemp. Um, Jeremy grinds all of the feed, um, which is really convenient. We bought a grinder shortly after we bought our pigs. Um, He weighs it out every every time he feeds them, feeds them. So it's about four scoops, and then we always add water to it to ferment it overnight. Um, and that just helps break down the grain so that it's easier digestion for the pigs. Um, but they have been so much fun to have. Um, Harlan loves them. I love them. Yeah. We are also in the process. I shouldn't say we. It's strictly Jeremy, honestly. Um, he is building another fence um, across the old creek. We have a bull and three steers that need some grass. Um, they really ate down to nothing where they were and we really first of all hate doing that and second of all um, our bull was breaking some posts so he was just kind of being a pest so we took him out of that fence or that field which was quite a ways away from our house and now jer has been working on a new fence line for him just right over there pretty much so yeah. have been working really hard on trying to get some rotational pasturing going on our property. It's been um, a work in progress. Our whole everything has been a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, we have I think three fields we rotate them through right now and with that one it'll be in an added fourth so that'll be so nice to have.
So we killed on site our pigs. Everything went pretty well. So um, Harlan watched most of it. I wasn't really expecting him to, but you know, keeping a two-year-old back is pretty hard. But also, like he's a farm kid, and he's he's got to learn all of this anyway. So everything went well. So the le next couple videos are of that process minus the actual killing due to regulations from YouTube, obviously. Um, so if you're interested, you can watch that. And if not, um, yeah, thanks for watching. What do you think it weighs? Yeah, what's the gas? I'd say somewhere between 150 and 180, but I said the good dogs don't need it. You get the bucket back. A little bit. Thank <laughs> you.